Yo, what's up, guys? So I took Dan Bozerian's new coaching program called Sigma Society. And without revealing too much to the coaching program, here's what I learned. There's like this 30 to 40 minute video in one of the modules where Dan talks about this is what happens when you start chasing. And he breaks down what the thought process of the girl like, oh, she's going to start thinking, oh, is this guy good enough for me? And he breaks it all the way down to exactly what happens if you're in this position. Now, if you're in the position of she's chasing you, now she's going to start thinking like, oh, I must really like this guy because I'm so invested in him. It's just it's just basic human psychology of what Dan has Dan picked up over the years of his poker and his vast experiences with women, you know. And he basically just breaks it down to what happens when a woman starts chasing you because like you, you don't want to build your relationship on poor foundation. So if you if you start simping early on, if she's already disrespecting you, if she's already walking all over you during the dating phase, what's going to happen when you guys get into a relationship? But if you start your foundation on a strong foundation, then now when you get into the relationship phase, she's more attracted to you. Everything just works out a lot better. You know, it's kind of like if you build a house, right? You want a strong foundation. When disasters come, when a storm comes, a, a, a house with a weak foundation is just going to blow apart. But if you got your foundation down, you're all good to go. And I think a lot of guys, you know, will have objections like, oh, uh, D Dan's fame is the reason why he gets all these girls. No, it's actually the opposite. The reason why Dan got famous in the first place is because he got these girls in the first place. You know, because he had all these hot women is the reason why he became famous. He first got the girls with this mindset and then he started posting on social media and that's how he became famous, right? So it, it doesn't really make sense to say his fame got the girls because you're already getting the girls before the fame and I, I also know a lot of guys will have other objections like oh you know I, I gotta look a certain way I gotta be six feet tall I gotta make hundred thousand uh, dollars I gotta have the six-pack abs or whatever right I mean those definitely can help you but they're not everything it's like if you have all this if you you're super athletic you're a model for example but if you're simping for her and you're chasing her well it doesn't matter if you're all like buying her flowers, buying her all these watches and, you know, basically doing a lot of high perceived effort compared to low perceived effort, she's not going to perceive that attractive and she's going to talk to somebody else, man. So it's like, you know, these limiting beliefs that were taught at such a young age is just utter garbage or the one about being an Asian guy, right? I usually, I, I never really had a problem with dating the different races, but I know a lot of Asian guys are like, oh, I'm Asian, you know, girls won't find me attractive, I can't really date, you know, a white girl, whatever the heck, heck they want to date, but that's also garbage because Dan actually has a coach in the program who has, I think, I believe Dan said he's like, the coach is has got laid way more compared to any other billionaire or millionaire he knows, you know, athlete or, or model because he had this freaking mindset. He knew how to trigger attraction, get a girl to chase, and eventually, you know, get her invested into him. So that's why if that Asian guy can do it, so can you if you're Asian. So, you know, that you should make no excuses that you can't achieve it when another guy has already achieved it. So those those limiting beliefs that we have are not real. And Dan will teach you how to overcome them in his program. And uh, on top of that, I, I, re I really like the community in there, man. It's like if you surround your, there's that quote, if you surround yourself with like five winners, you become the next winner. Or if you find, conversely, if you surround yourself with five losers, well, you become the next loser. So this community is a very supportive community where not only the, the, it's very supportive, but also at the same time, just being in that environment helps you grow even more. Like if I were to be by myself, it wouldn't be the same, you know, it's because I'm in this type of environment, getting all this information that it's starting to internalize in my own brain. On top of that, you can also ask questions to the coach. Uh, there's coaches in the program that you can ask questions to. So you can ask questions in the forums if you're struggling with any, you know, particular aspect in your dating life or have a question, maybe something occurred during your date. Uh, you can share your wins, for example, your fumbles. It's such a great community to be in. And there's there's also uh, coaching calls, weekly coaching calls with uh, two co currently two coaches right now. And there's also monthly coaching calls with Dan Bozerian. So if you have any questions, you can bring up bring them to the coaching calls and get them answered. And there's modules on how to get your mindset right, erase those limiting beliefs, for example. There's modules on the attraction triggers. And then there's chasing mechanisms. There's phases on freaking social media and there's a bunch of PDF files with the charts that I talked about earlier, PDFs on, you know, text game as well. And there's, you know, much more than what just what I'm talking about. You know, I'm just talking about the tip of the iceberg. But personally for me, I was the, the classic nice guy, man. 
I was a chameleon, trying to blend in with everybody, make sure I don't say anything rude or make sure I don't say anything to upset anyone. And you know, I always felt like I was walking on eggshells and just trying to please everybody. And I know for me personally, I had a, a lot of limiting beliefs with women, especially uh, one being you know feeling responsible for girls, especially girls that are have this kind of like broken gazelle kind of help me vibe. You know, I'd always feel responsible for the emotions. I've already got past that limiting belief, but to be honest with you, there's still a little bit of people pleasing behaviors that I've noticed that I still have with women. But like this freaking program just sealed the deal. Like after watching the program, I was like, all right. There's no point of me doing this type of behavior where I'm the one chasing. Instead, I'm gonna come from the frame of, is she good for me? This is what Dan says, man. Don't act like a fan unless you wanna be treated like a fan, man. So yeah, I've already actually applied this. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. And you won't unsee it after you take this program, man. It's, it's absolutely insane. Cause it's like, now when I see guys talking to women, it's like, okay, he's chasing. She's not that attracted. She's about to go, go the other freaking way. And I even analyzed my own past experience too, where I'm like, this girl was initially attracted. I showed her all my cards and guess what happened? I chased so hard that I freaking burned it to the ground. But if I just calmed down, took a step back, apply these principles that Dan's program teaches, it'd be a whole freaking different story, man. It'd be cr it's fucking insane, bro. But yeah, anyways, if you want to learn how to optimize your dating life, and this course is something you're interested in. Uh, I left a link in the description below. You're welcome to check that out uh, if you like. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it.